just hanging out here in my skeleton spawner. Uh, and no, that's not a giant millipede creature. It is a bajillion skeletons. <laughs> I did not bring any healing push. Man, if I get close enough, they just kind of knock me back because there's so many. Bam. It's kind of fun. Um, but yeah. Whoa, look at this one. There's a whole uh, stream of them there. But yeah, I don't have any potions to kill all these, so I'm going to have to do it manually. So I'm at 41. You can see where I am right now. And then when I come back, we'll see how many levels I gained. Be right back. Alright, so I just barely got to 46, which considering the high level, that's a lot of experience. And there's so many bones and stuff and bows that I can't even pick up. I just don't have enough room. But you can see just how many enchanted bows I've been getting. Which are pretty good. I usually just use a power one bow when I go around fighting stuff. So yeah, pretty awesome. Skeleton spawners seem to be the way to go unless you really want some iron stuff. So uh, I'm going to head up and I'll show you some of the improvements I made. Alright, so the amount of skeletons that was down there was from me watching an episode of Community, which is about 22, 24 minutes or so. So that's a pretty good amount for such a short time. Just kind of went AFK. So this is the new front. I got rid of the glass, as was suggested by one of the, the viewers in the last video, and made sure that no light was getting in. You can kind of see a little bit with these stairs just to give you a peek, but you don't really need to look in for the stuff to spawn. I also took some of their other suggestions here, which I can show you guys. I believe if I break through here, there's a little path that should lead out. I don't have a shovel on me. Oh, never mind. This actually goes straight into the spawner. So you can see, I'll be careful not to get hit, but I expanded this from four across on each side to eight across. So now we have two flows of water going down, uh, channeling, let's look out for that skeleton, channeling water all the way to the center, which actually has a trench in it. And that trench is eight long as well. So basically anything that spawns in here will get pushed by the sideways currents into the center current, which pushes it down into the pit, which only needs to be one wide now to get them down there. And then I just made it a little wider on the bottom or kept it that way so that we, you know, we'd have a lot of room for these guys. Uh, having it eight wide here actually is a really good way to spawn a lot more as well. I could expand it in the back, I believe, but... The way that I have this set up with the water, uh, this seems to work best for getting them quickly pushed down into it. They can kind of get caught on the spawner. So one way I could do this is to make it a little deeper. But I did actually lower it one. <laughs> He's not going to let me look. But I did lower this one. If you noticed before, the spawner was on the, uh, <laughs> the ground level, but now it's floating so that sp stuff could spawn because I had learned, thanks to the viewer as well, uh, that stuff will spawn one block below as well as along with uh, above and on the same level and then if you look I put some cobble on top of it so that skeleton can't spawn on top and get stuck on there you know and never go down so yeah this isn't perfect because you do have to stand at the top still while stuff spawns and then go down there's definitely ways to make it so you can stand at one level and kill them at one level where the the skeleton or zombies are pushed back up but this is pretty sufficient for what I use it for just ooh, having skeletons shoot me just uh getting a bunch of them and having them go down like as you saw that was a lot of experience for such a short amount of time if you left this overnight there would be an insane amount so pretty cool i'm enjoying this spawner a lot uh thanks for watching guys i'm gonna head back down here and just see how many have spawned probably not too many since i started whoa see there's a few already pretty good amount I'm just going to smack them. I had a sword, but uh, if you do want to use the healing splash potions, I do. I can recommend that because uh, every time you hit an enemy, even if it's not with your sword, your food goes down a bit, and you can really burn up food this way. If you have the food, then it's fine because it seems like there's an abundance of food in this game once you get a farm and stuff going. But yeah, splash potions are the way to go, I think, to hit them all. You can also get them all trapped into a single block. But that is pretty insane for the deafening sound that they make. <laughs> Had to turn the volume down. And, but that makes them easier to hit with a potion. So yeah, splash potions. And hopefully you guys like the adjustments I made. Thanks again to everybody who watched my last video with the spawner who gave me tips on how to make it better. And I'll probably keep improving it. But right now this is pretty good for me. So this has been uh, Swimming Bird. And thanks for watching, guys. See you later.
Here's a little bonus. Uh, actually made it so that all the skeletons will fall in one spot here. Uh, it kind of sounds like a uh, bunch of xylophones falling down a flight of stairs. But I'm going to use the potion here and we'll see how many we kill. Whoa, if I get too close they push me away like before. But let's try it. See how many we can kill. I'm at level 7. Boo. All dead. It's going to take a minute for the experience here to all hit me. But look at those levels go up. And they're all quiet. So yeah, I think condensing them into one spot is probably a smarter way to go. Uh, they're not going to burst out or anything, obviously, so... Some of the drops even flew over here. That's crazy. 7 to 16, and just about 16 and a half. Pretty cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.